One of Lutz's favourite booths at CES was Bug Labs, where they were displaying a modular project system. I'll let Peter from Bug Labs explain. The, uh, our, the platform consists of two main components. One is the Bug Base. The Bug Base is a Linux computer, 128 megabytes of RAM. It's an ARM 11. It's actually a very powerful computer in its own right. What's the frequency? Uh, 532 megahertz. Okay. And into this device, you can plug lots of different functions. Um, clearly, we think there's a huge demand for location-based applications, so GPS was one of the things that everyone was requesting. So all you need to do is just plug in the GPS to this unit, powers it up, it interfaces it with the computer, you can then load a program in from the front, and you're off to the races. That's all you want. Now, clearly, a GPS that has no display has a limited value. So if you want a display, then you just plug in the LCD screen. So now, this is a full color touchscreen LCD. So now I can see a map or whatever data I want that's coming on the GPS. 20 by 240? Yep. Okay. It's basically the same screen as the iPod, the video iPod. It's very high resolution. And so now I have my little programmable GPS, which could be all I want. But now maybe I want to share my location with others, so I've got a 3G modem, right? So like an EBDO or an edge modem. So now it could be, you know, when I get to a certain, when I get to the supermarket, tell my wife so she knows to send me the list. Or I have a camera. Now I can say, all right, I want to take a picture. I can see the viewfinder here. Like maybe I want to move these around, so it's a little easier to use. So I'll take a picture, like this, right, and then I'll geotag it and post it to my Flickr account. Exactly. Right. And then, so when I'm done with using my device, I just take it apart and I can put something else together. Let's say I want to have a, a situation where. I want to tag my location if if I do a, this has got an accelerometer in it. And let's say I want to tag my location when I do this. Oh, when you stop moving, or stop moving, or you know, right? Or detect motion. Or I mean, the, the, the lists are endless, really. I mean, you can. There's we're launching with four modules, but we have 81 total. Technically, you could also use the accelerometer to help the GPS if you lose the GPS Correct. signal. And then you could do dead reckoning. Right. There's a digital compass as well, so you could like, if you lose signal, you could sort of keep track of where you are. Absolutely. You could also do um, a little bit of GPS backing up with uh, 3G modem because you can do tower triangulation. So what we're trying to do is not, we're trying not to get into the business of application development. We're just trying to provide the pieces and parts to let people's you know, imaginations go wild. We want to, I like to say we're trying to provide the 2x4s, nails, and hammers for people to build stuff. And so you may build a doghouse, I may build a bridge, uh, but you know, these are the parts that just all work together. So would you then also like accept suggestions for new modules like a, uh, a card reader or something Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. Well, in fact, everything we're doing is open source, which means that all the designs for the hardware is open source. So you can go to the website and you can download the specs for our GPS. Can you buy the, the empty shell and yeah. connect and do yeah. your own stuff? There's something called the Von Hippel module, which we've also announced, right. which is just that. It's an empty shell. And you can put your own chips in there. You have to own your own piece of plastic. Um, and we're also going to have on our website sort of a, uh, uh, it's not an auction, but it's a way for people to come and vote and nominate module types. So I, let's say I go and I say, look, I think a radar detector would make a great module. What? And it's not on our list. Then the, the community can come and say, look, I you really can figure out how many, how much requests yeah. there for that. Yeah, and then we say, look, if we get, if we can get a hundred hard orders for this, like credit card numbers, we'll go and build it. And, Right. So we'll, we want to be responsive in that way too, but because it's open source, if you don't see what you want, you just go build it. And you can build modules for not a lot of money.